Hey guys, how's it going? Platt here, and um, yeah, I know this is kind of an unconventional video for me, but um, I uh, just been doing a lot of stuff recently. I, I moved, and um, basically over the course of, oh geez, I, I should have looked beforehand, but I think this is over a year, maybe more, a year and year and a half. Um, I've just amassed a good amount of um, vaporwave cassettes uh, that I have yet to open. Um, they're from various labels and um, they're just, uh, uh, yeah, they're, they're all from different artists, I think most of them at least, and, um, and some of them are a little bit weird, some are a little strange, and then some are, I guess you could say, like um, cool collectors-ish things, especially the big one here, so we'll get to that here in a minute. Um, but uh, yeah, I just thought I would uh, open them on camera for something a little different here. And also because I'm looking for a way to test this microphone in a non like shit post type format. So uh, yeah, I guess we'll uh, get right into it here. I gotta clean up first though. All right, I guess we can start with this one. This one's from Plastic Response Records. They're based in South Carolina. Uh, I've definitely ordered from them before. Um, it was a long time ago, though. It was for a uh, Cat System Corp album, which I think is... Uh, oh, no, 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 no. They, they've released two Cat System Corp, uh, Corp albums. If Well, okay. Three if you count... Um, what do you call it? Uh, Midnight Stereo and... Um, let's see, I'm a Late Night Stereo. They, they're a double album, so it, if you count them as separate albums, uh, I do, I guess... Um, then, you know, that's that's two albums. And then there's a double album, or no, it's not, sorry, double, I, a collaboration album with him and, oh, uh, it's Syllabus, I think, yeah. Um, they released uh, uh, Double Date. Um, but this one, um, I, I think I remember what this is. I can't remember. I, I know there were two albums like this out of this um, pack here, but let's see which one this is. I forget which one they released and which one what was the other one. Oh, okay, yeah, this is the Luxury Elite one then. Um, because I'm pretty sure both, like, uh, I'll get to the other one here in a second, but um, there are two albums from Luxury Elite I got, but this one is actually under the Luxury Elite um, alias, whereas the other one's under a different alias. So, all right, awesome. This one is Moods. I'm pretty sure this is, a, this is an older one that... Uh, Either didn't get a, um, never got a cassette release or only got a, like, very limited cassette release and this is a re-release, um, but, uh, it, I think this is super cool because this is styled a lot like the, um, hmm, what was, uh, that one is World Class. Hang on a second, I'll go get World Class so we can have a comparison. Okay, it took a while, but I found it. There's a World Class for a comparison, and, um... Yeah, uh, same font, um, same style with uh, the, um, yeah, here we go, the barcodes right here, and, uh, you know, just kind of a minimalist uh, design other than the album cover. And I mean, there's not that much on the album cover anyway, it's it's just a moon, and uh, uh, you, uh, it, I, I think what's uh, interesting, though, is that, you know, that this is what Plastic Response decided to do, even though World Class was released by a different label, by Crash Symbols. Or maybe it was like an art direction more by Luxury Elite herself, more so than the, the label. But anyway, um, what else did it come with? Came with, uh, yeah, this is their, uh, yeah, this is their card. Um, I, I don't know if previous releases came with a card, but uh, here's a card. Um, and then, uh, this, I remember this sticker, this came, this definitely came with uh, a couple of their releases. Um, yeah, you know, these stickers, like, I'm, I'm always tempted to put them on, like, my players or my, the tables that I use to put my cassette deck and other audio stuff on, but, I don't know, just always a little hesitant because they're so nice, I want to keep them nice. Um, anyway, let's get to the next package, kind of waste a lot of time. Okay, next one we got here is from Russia, and I'm pretty sure it's off of the Gorgeous Lights label. Um, now, if you don't know, Gorgeous Lights has become a, a big label for um, si uh, signal wave um, 
broken transmission, those uh, subgenres. So, you know, always expecting something good, but I I can't remember what I bought from them here. Um, I I think this is the other one that I was just talking about. Oop! I hit the mic. Um, hmm. Yeah, I, I I gotta probably go at it with the scissors again. Yeah. Um. Ah. Uh, Sorry, this camera setup that I have here is really awkward, and I'm might be a little shaky. I know the uh, this just is oh, it's gonna be a disaster. First ever unboxing video, and it's horrible. Um, yeah, okay, yep, yeah, yeah, this is it. So, for, oh, oh, wow, it has an Obi strip. Oh, wow. Oh, that is so cool. Wow, I I, I did not expect an Obi strip. Okay, so um. Yeah, I think this is another uh, Luxury Elite alias, and this, uh, I think, was a, a pretty old album that never got a cassette release. Oh, man, that's... Because, honestly, I you know I, I saw the simple style again, and I'm like, okay, well, that's cool. That's that's Luxury Elite style to, to go simple, but wow. Wow, that... I, and, and this... And the Obi strip on the cassette, like, that's something I haven't seen since um, uh, one of uh, the old Cat System Corp album with the Bukhari, um, school days. I mean, that one was okay, but, but this, this one is, dang, that is, that is nice. Standby update. And even has, like, alternate cover art as little things on the, uh, or maybe they're, they're track cover arts, but that, that is cool. Um, and, and this came out super, like, this reminds me of some of the newer Obi labels that you're seeing on, um, Albums like uh, like the vinyl releases, vinyl re-releases that lots of albums are getting. Okay, so let me see if I can carefully remove this. Oh, that material is so nice too. Wow, I I, I know you, you you know obviously you wouldn't be able to feel it, but but this material is is great. It's not just kind of like the cheap early paper ones, like the one I was just talking about from Corp back in the day. That was like twenty twenty um. I think 2017. Um, just gonna move the pop filter a bit. Okay, let's get back into this. Viewers like you, um, ah, come on. Always have a little bit of trouble sometimes. Okay. Um, oh, it's it's LED printed. That you know, wow. Okay, you really get a difference with the LED print versus um, just a normal. Um, like normal cassette stuff, like like you know you can get from duplication, but going the extra mile for an LED print with that uh, signal wave style, that that really makes a difference. Man, the I'm I'm like drooling over the aesthetic of this thing. I I I barely even remember the album, but man, I'm I'm gonna have to pop this in like very soon here. Oh, that's that's great. Yeah, that's that, okay. Really glad I. I uh, jumped on this one because I'm I'm really not like a signal wave kind of guy just because there's there's so much of it out there that it's like you know it, at at one point does it start to all freaking sound the same but the look they went for on this one is really nice really nostalgic yet you know brings in you know with the Japanese obi strip that that really does something that's like I feel like you don't really get elsewhere anyway I'm gonna put this back on here okay. This is this has been a good highlight. Um, okay, very cool. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Okay, I I definitely know what this one is. This one, yeah, this this is a I don't know what you call this one. It was like an unauthorized remix, but has since gotten uh, like like the the original um, artist has since been like, oh, this is great. I'm gonna promote this on my social media feed. So. Um, I, I thought it was funny when I saw it, so I picked it up. This, I haven't opened this for, like, I think this is from, like, yeah, I, I think I definitely got this one a year ago. Um, uh, this guy, the, the remixer, uh, and, like, you know, re, like, yeah, he also does stuff with the design. He's based out, out, out of Oklahoma, um, and so you might sort of recognize this when it comes up. Yeah, so what does this look like? This almost looks like that, uh, Cat Corp album, uh, Hereith, or Hereith, however you want to pronounce it. Let me go get it so we can compare. 
I should have really prepared for this better. <laughs> okay, thankfully this time it didn't take me super long to get, but um, yeah, let's um, let's compare them here. So is is this an actual sticker? Oh, that's that's funny. There's an there's an actual sticker on the um, the cassette. Uh, damn it! What do you the the case? <laughs> uh, so here's this. This release of it is from 2017. I got one of the re-releases. Um, is like I don't know. I, yeah, there there were only so few made in two, 2014. I didn't even know them back then. But um, yeah. Uh, so you know, it's it's made to look very clean. The only weird kind of non-clean part about it, but it it's a uh, it's it like I'm pretty sure that's Times New Roman font. Oh wait, this is the Oasis, right? This is the VEP version. So um. But this one, <laughs> yeah, so this is from Kingdao Market. And oh my, <laughs> why is there a Yu-Gi-Oh card? And, and as you can see, it's it's made to just completely trample over it. The music is remixed. Um, so it's not just like they're actually trying to profit off of his music by, um, <clears throat> by like, uh, you know, um, just putting this on. Oh, wow, yeah, this is like nostalgic kind of the, the bad non-glossy cardstock but but not even card like like look at that like and you know nothing on the inside it's it's almost kind of nostalgic with uh oh hearth i forgot it was called hearth um but yeah this is uh this is really something uh there's just the I, you know I, I thought it was so funny so i i picked it up but um all right so the cassette is is definitely where it's uh lacking but i mean it's it's still a nice like it's a strong cassette you know they didn't cheap out at least um, oh, and look at that. It's even got a red, um, starting, uh, tape, but yeah, um, bit of an oddity at the, at the most castle wall. Yeah. So it's, it's not even like a new Yu-Gi-Oh card. It's just one that they probably like fished out of a box from their old collection. It's, it's interesting. And then, um, so we'll just, uh, keep going here we won't take a won't take a long break for this one i'd probably best if i open this one off camera anyway because it's a it's a very small box it's also from king dao and so it's hard to like you know hide the address by just shifting it over to one side so um yeah there was another one from i'm pretty sure there were a few from them um i don't think i uh you know i i, I don't really keep up on it nowadays because like I said, it's such a such a weird thing, and it, it wasn't even promoted by uh, Corp at first, Yornt, whatever you want to call him. Um, I just thought it was funny. Why not throw a couple bucks this guy's way? Um, is this it? Yeah. <laughs> it's it, it. I just love the attention to detail, though, of <laughs> of these. <laughs> Oh man, it's, it's it's even cracked. I mean, it's kind of funny because sometimes, just unfortunately, I'd, I'd get cassettes from Yorns and they'd be cracked just because, uh, like you know, the case would be cracked because it you know a long way coming from the Netherlands to California. But um, <laughs> like everything about it is is parodied. It's um, you know, it's everything's in Chinese instead of Japanese. I mean, there's no Japanese on the original though. But um, all the stickers and <laughs> like you know. A, a stock image, but it's it's somehow like you know a, a really uh, untrustworthy stock image, like you got from a place that'll give you a virus. Um, it says Wednesday instead of Tuesday. Um, uh, this part, uh, it's it's alright. It's I I think that's funny too, though the the med in Canada thing. But um, I this time I actually do have. Um, Use that 11 here right away to compare it to. Um, so there we go. Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, okay, so I guess it's supposed to be sort of a like a satellite image as opposed to weather forecast on that side. Um, I guess that's what they're trying to go for. Um, let's take out, this is from 2016, by the way, this, I'm pretty sure this is like the second 
release of this right after the the first run um so got the weather forecast that's side b got new york on side a um this there's nothing on the inside this is one of his because this is one of his older ones where he did it on glossy photo paper um but yeah there's there's the one to compare it to at first now let's get into the the you know the bootleg oh well okay got a got a nice uh pretty sure I'd, i i recognize that that image that's that's a really easy to come by image of new york pre september 11th um on the other side oh man nothing on the other side that would be another like trashy weird satellite image or or like a gis image or something okay well uh but but okay i mean at least something on the cassette itself on this one like a you know a sticker um yeah again just kind of a fun little joke so th those are the only two from uh king down market that i have to share right now um maybe more in the future we'll see but uh yeah all right so that's done okay i definitely also know what this one is um this is just another one that unfortunately has just been sitting around for way too long without being opened even though it should have been opened a while ago um but this is from uh someone who uh i've been i'm pretty sure i've been on a compilation with him before and um yeah he's he's mostly a signal wave guy um this is his only album that's on cassette um he's from arizona uh, this is super nintendo the album uh, real world um yeah uh, interesting album cover like i feel like most vaporwave albums don't go with i don't know this sort of interesting fine art whatever you want to call it um style um all right okay this was uh all right so this was the i forget what label um it was on but that was the release on the label however the cassette was self-released um oh, okay autumn sounds was the label um yeah because uh, cassette was self-released home dubbed um honestly an interesting like uh thing because you, you almost never get this anymore nowadays Every, almost everything has gone professional and pre-order and whatnot so i'm really happy to have stuff like this again um Oh, oh, okay. So interesting. Instead of putting the track list maybe on the inside or, or doing a little something here, um, he's got this uh, and a little um, uh, little illustration to go. I, that, that's that's pretty cool. I like and and this paper. Um, okay, no. So so it's an image printed on the paper and the and it's it's meant to look like it has a little bit of a like stuff on it. Um. Let me put this out of the way because I think I'll be getting some glare. But um, yeah, I I, I think <laughs> what I, one of the things I like best about his stuff is his um his song names. They're interesting. Um, and then uh, more or less the same thing on the album cover on the cassette. Um, this is nice though. This this Maxell cassette that he used. Um, it, it must have been like some sort of just really nice stock one. Um. Oh yeah, I see it's oh. Oh geez, it looks like it's someone's old mixtape that he dubbed over. That because I, I feel like I I see some writing right here that, that doesn't look like it's um it's part of this max. So that's that that that's definitely something he would do. <laughs> Alright, very cool. Awesome. Ugh, can't speak today. Awesome. That's what I meant to say. Ugh, no, 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 no. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Thanks uh, for... Oh, wait, I forgot to put this back in. Anyway, um, thanks, Super Nintendo, for getting this out to me. There was a weird thing with Bandcamp, you know, not basically not paying him. Because uh, when you when you started, I'm pretty sure it's when you have to do with... Um, something to do with buying on Bandcamp. I, I won't go into it here, but I... Yeah, just really thanks again for that. And um, yeah, let's move on to the next thing.
All right, so this one, I completely forget what it is. I, I know where it's from. It's from the Ukraine, and it's from probably uh, like the one of the most OG labels in Vaporwave. Um, uh, Naughty Night, Naughty Night Records. They are awesome. And all you have to do with Naughty Night Records is just um, get past the fact that it'll take you a long time to receive it. Uh, well, you know, if you live in the United States like I do. So, um, oh, looks like I still got to cut a little bit more. Um, there we go. That should be good now. But, I mean, you know, still a quality label. Had a bit of an interesting mishap going on with one of their cassettes, but maybe it was just, like, something wasn't clear about how the cassette should have been dubbed. But, I mean, like, that. I, I think what's cool is that just they're still going strong. They still accept, like, you know, new people in the vaporwave industry they're not like gatekeeping but they also support old it's like you know new and old they don't care as long as it's good it's it's getting on their their label um oh, damn it i'm trying to open here oh i forgot to cut this one of course um okay can I finally open without showing that side yes there we go um but yeah i completely forget what this is i don't know why i bought something for them because i I didn't remember anything coming up by them that I wanted. Uh, remember them packaging like this. Oh, right! Right, this was the Twin Pines Mall album. Or, uh, double album. Right, I forgot about this. I, I have that on floppy. Will I be able to find it? I think so. Give me one second. Okay, so I'll be honest. I don't like floppy as a format. I, I think it's, it, it's gimmicky. And, um, and, and also because floppies are hard to get and then make, um, you know, actually get looking the way you want it to. Um, and the, the, of course the music doesn't even sound that good on the floppy. Like it's, it's, it's gimmicky. I, I don't like it as a format, but I had to go for the aesthetic of this one because former, uh, Angelino, I love it. And, um, it, it, yeah, it just spoke to me and, you know, he, Twin Pines Mall, he's, he's like, he just never stops. He's a, uh, he, he just keeps going all the time, never stopping the vaporwave aesthetic. Gotta give him credit. So I, I didn't expect one like this though, because this is like a single packaging. Um, this is not like an, oh, this is going to be kind of hard to get. I really don't want to damage it, but, hmm. Uh, it's kind of making me wonder, like, why not just go for a regular case? I mean, maybe because the, songs aren't that long so you can go with the single type but oh my goodness i just broke the bag okay you know what i broke the bag so i'm just gonna fucking cut it now and somehow even though i'm using left-handed scissors this is still gonna give me it just so many problems Ugh, get, get out of here. Okay. Yeah, there we go, Naughty Night. So yeah, this is uh, Los Angeles and, damn it, I don't remember the name of this album, but it's also got a cool aesthetic feel. Um, maybe it's just called 4 AM. All right, cool. Ooh, blue and yellow. I, I like that for LA themed or blue and yeah, blue and yellow. And there we go. Los Angeles on that side. Um, so yeah, uh, <laughs> it was just to, uh, I guess, get this in uh, both formats. That's just the data on that side, by the way. Nothing special there. But uh, yeah, owning this album plus, plus a bonus one. So uh, yeah. Uh, both Naughty Night and Twin Pines Mall still going strong. Uh, Got to give them credit. All right, cool. Let's move on. All right. Um, this one, I'm fairly certain I I know what this one is. Um, it's It's got two cassettes in it because um, I think I, I definitely ordered them at different times, but they just were both ready to be sent out at the same time. So um, thank you, Tiger Blood Tapes. You guys are the best, uh, er, 
uh, yeah, one, one of the good Canadian labels, I'll, I'll say that. Um, uh, one of these is a little more exciting, I mean, at least to me, but um, I, yeah, I, I kind of, uh, let's see, I'm pretty sure this is one I want to open first since, wow, do I just not remember how to use scissors? Because um, this one is going to be pretty sure another Luxury Lead album, right? Right, 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 right? Yeah. Fantasy. Um, I think this one, yeah, this is an older one that got a re-release, so... Uh, I, you know, definitely liking something a little different with, um, Luxury Elite. We got, uh, pink and white and, uh, very stylish as opposed to the, uh, the very simple, sleek ones of before this one's more popping out at you. Maybe, like, just, I don't know, there's, there's so much pink and white that it's a little, <laughs> it's a little too much, but, uh, I mean... It's luxury late. What are you gonna do? The, it's 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 always got to be. Just very themed, because, you know the the album itself. It's uh you know the the music is gonna be, very much her style. She's got a distinctive style here. There's the Tiger Blood, uh, logo, but um. You know she's got her distinctive style, but you know, it if you really want the theme of the album, you got to kind of look at the art. So. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Um, so yeah, there's one of them, and this is the one I'm, uh, I honestly have to say I'm a little more excited for, and, um, well, I'm, I'm also mostly excited for the, uh, vinyl, which I guess will be released later, I, you know, they, uh, you could buy them at the same time, but, you know, I get, on a, nowadays the vinyls are taking so long to be produced and everything is, um, uh, ah, damn it, moving the camera. Everything is pre-order. Um, is that... Oh, okay, that's a Bandcamp um, code. But, yeah, check it out. Got that Nouveau Life New World re-release. Finally, no more Dream Catalog bullshit holding you down from a re-release. Um, okay, so, I mean, earlier on I was talking about, you know, detailed OB strip, but... I mean, come on. This, this is, this is something else. I mean, it's so small. The camera is definitely not going to pick it up because it's a shit camera. And I'm so sorry about this, but. At least that's nice. Definitely still fit in the aesthetic. Uh, it's even got a, a high def earth photo right there as opposed to the, um, like, DOS or like Apple one from back in the day. Um, anything done in barcode, whatever. Um, but yeah, this is um this is more like on the original. Um, you know the one that's probably worth a crap ton from Dream Catalog. Um, yeah, this this looks pretty familiar. Just added stuff for the re-release, and there's the actual album cover. Um, ooh, very bottom down there. It says Nouveau Life. You can barely see it. But, um, yeah, super excited that this finally got released again. Um, I'm happy with three releases. I know that some people are like, oh my god, you gotta have the fucking original. It's the only thing you gotta do. But if it's officially re-released, then it's like, why bother trying to spend so much freaking money on something that is never gonna drop in price and, it, and is probably of, honestly, lesser quality. So, yeah, um, great Tiger Blood releases. They're still going strong as well. I mean, they're, they're a relatively new one. One of the first ones I remember them releasing. Oh, man. it's I think it was a Phoenix album. Um, yeah. And then, then they did Lo-Fi later by, uh, by Cat Corp. But, um, yeah, great stuff from them. Thank you. All right, um, last small package here. I also know where this one is from and what this is. This is from Lost Angles, and, um, you know, trying to always support labels, but Lost Angles definitely has been the one that I've had the most negative experiences with, um, just from uh, stuff not being received and, and sent out late compared to when other people have gotten it 
kind of really put me in a bad mood whenever I have to, you know, whenever there's something I really want and they're chosen. But, um, so, uh, what this is, yeah, this is a News at 11 cassette. And if you remember earlier, I just showed you uh, another version, which is the Corp uh, self-released one all the way back from 2016. And I mean, looking at them like this, they're they're pretty similar. Um, I don't know if you're able to tell from the cassette color just from looking right here, but um, yeah, pretty pretty darn similar. Hmm. Wonder why you had to black over the cover, or I feel like the text would come out just fine. Um, yeah, and so the only difference here is uh, that the cassette is different. It's um. It's a very basic cassette as opposed to you know the one with the the nice sticker on it really thematic it's i mean it's a red cassette and the the choices of cassettes were red and white so you know at least thematically coloring that's fine and this one from 2016 this one comes with a little nice homemade american flag made out of a toothpick and paper and i mean this this guy's dutch so it's not like he can you know just walk into a any sort of convenience store and grab an American flag. Like, that's not, that, uh, I, I need to get back, that, that, I need to get that back in there. But, don't want to mess around with it right now. So, you know, this is more professionally produced, whatever. So, at this point, it's kind of like, uh, why, um, why even get this if you already have it? Well, there is a very good reason behind it. Um, so let's, let's check this out here. This is very similar to the, um, the one that was in there, um, but take a look. You got Good Morning America, Morning Commute, 846, Downtown, Channel 4, New Amsterdam, Uptown, Algonquin. I think that's how you say that. But uh, yeah, those are some bonus tracks. Those were tracks that were cut from the original release, and they were only re-released on... Um, September 11th, 2021. And that's when this album was put up for sale. So we had uh, this version, a cassette version from Lost Angles. We have a um, a new vinyl version with the bonus tracks from Geometric Lullaby that uh, has the, um, what, do you, uh, what is that? that? That special full print on the vinyl itself. Um, and then there was a VHS release by um, something Utopia, something like that but um and i mean the the vhs is is interesting it definitely goes in a different style than what i thought because there have been lots of fan-made vhs um uh, like you know youtube videos constructed from vhs footage um made on uh youtube let's see were there any no no bonus tracks on the weather channel side um and let's let's get a good view of the the white side as well i guess that's interesting um but um, yeah, tons of re-release stuff happened in September of last year, um, and this was one of them. And so I just thought, you know, it'd be good to have the version that has the bonus tracks on it. Um, Lost Angles also back in the day they they released uh, they re-released with love with some bonus tracks, and actually that was probably the best thing to happen that album because that album's actually really boring, and the bonus tracks are the only good tracks on that album. So, you know, uh, Lost Angles personally. Not my favorite label, but at least they they add some substance to some old albums. So, yeah, that's uh, that's the last uh, kind of small cassette I have to unbox. So we only have that one big box left. I wonder what it is. Okay, we're finally down to this one. So I've been waiting to open this one for a really long time. Um, well, and and I was waiting it waiting for it to arrive for a really long time. I. Oh my god, I'm I'm trying to think back because I can barely remember. But I I want to say this came out. This this was available to buy in in early 2020. That that's what I'm. That's how I remember it. But it did not arrive until I think early or, or uh yeah early 2021, and now it's early 2022. And basically the only reason why I didn't open it is because um, back where I used to live, my, my room was super cramped already. I did not have a good place to put this. And I feel like any place that I would have put it, it would have just gotten knocked off, gotten destroyed, or just um, 
just not been treated well, so I just kept it in the box and been waiting for a good time to open it and a good place to put it. So we're finally getting to it. This is from um uh well okay it's it's from right it's Telebound Corp, but um darn it, what is that? What is that uh, record label called? It they also re-released uh, Midnight Television. Maybe, maybe it is called Telebound, but um, bottom line, we'll we'll take a look here. So please hope in from this side. Yes. So um, let me get this open. It's got it, it's 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 the strangest thing that it's packaged with eBay tape because nothing about this is related to eBay at all. I I feel like it makes it look like I I got this off of eBay later. Like I I you know. Um, I, I, I missed this, but then it, I got it um, uh, secondhand off of Discogs or eBay or something like that, but I did not. This is, a, you know, how it came uh, when it was delivered to me, and, and this is, you know, after I waited for a really long time from them. So, and now I, I've waited so long just to open it, and it's, it's, uh, it's just really something that I feel like mattered a lot when... This was announced because uh, I think the only yeah this was another artist who his his stuff was really only available physically on, off of Dream Catalog, um, but even so it was like the the stuff that he was most known for didn't even really have a physical release. So it was finally time to fix that with something that was just truly truly like you know over the top, but also. Perfect for for this aesthetic. Oh wow, man. Okay, hang on. Let me see if I can get these packing peanuts without spilling them everywhere. Um, all right. Oh 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 shit. Fuck. <laughs> let's see what I can. Okay. Let you know what. Let's take this out because it's right here. Welcome to yes, Death Decay After. Oh, Infinity Pool. And that's that's the name of the record label. Hmm. This is kind of bent. I wonder if it's because of I poorly handled the pack. Oh. Here we go. Um, okay, so thank you for buying the Computer Trilogy box set. And then you have, I know that you may have waited a long time for this. Um, this has been in the works for almost two years, taking on many different forms. I feel this best encapsulated the feel of the album with the consideration to being modern in the past and timeless all at once. If I had kept revisiting this, we would have ruined it. I wanted to personally chisel these out of marble, would have cost like $56,000 per box set for the man hours needed. Yes, <laughs> don't worry, that would have been going way too far. Balance of cost and aesthetic, each box is made of multiple parts. They're stuck together, so don't start to pull on all of them trying to get it apart. Oh, okay, that's good. The only thing that comes off is the rear lid of the computer, which doubles as a stash spot. Your digital download card is located inside of there. You may notice minor imperfections, pieces looking like they might not be fitting right, but all in the nature of being 3D printed. Nice, you may notice the monitor head doesn't sit perfect. That is because without the tapes inside, it sits a bit lower. It has to have a bit of free space for you to be able to tilt it when opening it up. The tapes inside may be a bit snug with the cellophane wrappers on. If you have trouble getting it out, wiggle it side to side, not up and down. While pulling it, it'll come right out. We all worked really hard on these for you, and getting them into these boxes is hard. I want to keep checking to make sure everything is right. If something, if something isn't wrong, please send me an email at Deep end at the infinity pool.com. Maybe they meant if something isn't right. Uh, thank you to Infinity Frequencies for encouraging us along the way. Nick for replacing me while I build my shop and all of you to keep buying our releases. <laughs> right, yeah, because I remember the guy who got in contact with me because I hadn't received mine yet. He was named Nick. So, oh, oh, wow. Okay, here we go. Now, I remember one thing about this is that uh, some people were kind of saying, like, oh, it's kind of smaller than I thought. So, I wonder how much packaging is on here, because right now it, it looks pretty big. Um, but there might just be a lot of pack, uh, a lot of bubble wrap on here. Um, oh, the plastic has got a super nice pattern. I think that makes sense that they were going for, because, you know, they wanted to get as close to something like, you know, quote, marble as possible. Oh, it's got some pretty, like, it's, it's, it's not beveled in terms of the edges like you know it's it the edges are sharp that's that's it's pretty sharp so um it looks like we'll have to do a bit more here 
There it is. The Infinity Frequencies original trilogy box set of computer... Uh, what is it? Computer Death, Computer Decay, and Computer Afterlife. So... This thing is held together... Um, seems to be pretty well. You know, there's a little bit of, like, you know, movement, but that was the... But, you know, I'm, I'm glad that they gave us some warning, basically saying, you know, don't try to pull on anything except for the part holding the cassettes. Um, and that's where the cassettes are stored, is in here. Nice infinity pool. Um, critically cut uh, logo back there. Um, I think the, the screen is interesting because it's made out of... Um, uh, it's it's just completely printed onto the plastic itself, and then it's got a little bit of like uh, uh, like you know the the machine that 3D printed cutouts very 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 light lines right here to give it that interesting screen look. Oh, I think um, what just happened? <laughs> what is going on? Um, Okay, we're good. Uh, or not, maybe? Or this is this is what's supposed to happen? What is going on? Um, oh yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, so that's what you're supposed to do. So you lift it up like that, and that's where the cassettes are stored. Alright, check that out. Ooh, it's even got acrylically cut thing in there. That's, I mean, and you know, it's... Like, you know, if you if you see little things like that, little imperfections like that, like, you gotta remember how small it is, and, you know, the fact that this was home-produced, and I, I think they made a hundred of these, so, you know, they, you know, they had to do this a hundred times. But, um, here's Computer Death, finally on cassette. Um, yeah, this is pretty similar to how, like, uh, how I remember the... Midnight Television release looking, both of its uh, versions. Um, so that'll come out there from the top. Well, that fits pretty nice. I don't, maybe, I don't know, maybe these some people never tried to put shrink-wrapped cassettes in a cassette box before, so they don't really know, but here's Computer Decay. 2020 through 2030. <laughs> I, I'm just trying to think, like... It, if if it had taken them that long, maybe that's why they were doing that. Or maybe it was just a little bit of a joke, or I don't know. But there's afterlife. A little bit of pet hair on that. Love that. Um, yeah, that's um, yeah. The, their cassettes, like they they look very similar uh, in terms of you know it got got a little bit of. Uh, like do a little bit of a duplication.ca look, but then they've got like the part of the album printed on it too. So it's an interesting combination. But um, yeah, that was the last little thing here. And this finally, this is um, this is ready to be displayed. So super happy about that. And um, hmm. uh, ah, there we go. Oh, my finger is stuck though. But yeah, sits really nice. I expected it to be like, uh, um, yeah, I, I just expected to have a very small little thing that it uh, sat on and, and, and it not to have as much support. So I thought it'd have to be a lot more delicate with it. And I thought it would maybe tilt up a little more, like, you know, an old maybe CRT monitor. But, you know, it. I think within the limitations, it's, it's still really something. So, um Great job on that, you know, finally getting it out when it got out, and, um, yeah, I think just, uh, something to have in, in, uh, in a Vaporwave collection, because always gotta have a little bit from, from the big guys. It will be eternal, and this just helps solidify it, so, yeah, um, this is the last package, so thanks again for watching, hope it was enjoyable just seeing some random stuff and, you know, a nice cool thing here at the end, so, uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.